Easy. What's up, sea bums? We're back on the water today, fishing here in the Southern Gulf Islands. Uh, we're gonna head out and do some salmon fishing, see what we can find. It should be a pretty nice day. It's you know kind of overcast, but nice and sunny out, not raining like last time, so that's always an advantage. Yeah, I'm pretty excited just to get out on the water here and uh, see what kind of winter springs are around. We're getting into the middle of February, so there should definitely be you know some some size rolling around. Hopefully, some you know eight to ten pounders will be really nice. We'll get out here, drop the gear down, and see what we can find. So we'll see you out in the water. Alright guys, so we found our spot and we got the rods in the water, we got some bait on the sounder, some bait rolling through here nice and deep. There was a couple other boats around us here fishing for salmon, we saw another couple boats on the way up, so it's a beautiful day. I'm pretty optimistic that we'll be able to at least get one or two salmon, which would be really nice. We're allowed to keep four, uh, two each right now. We'll keep you guys posted, hopefully we get a fish on here in the next few minutes, and uh, we'll see you when the bite's on. Pretty good. Oh yeah, that'll go. That's a beauty. Easy.
Maybe this side, hon. Nice job. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right. Okay. Let's go over this way. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Awesome. We were just about to pick up and move and we found this guy about 68 centimeters, 62 and over is legal. So that's perfect. What a beautiful, wild winter spring. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Can't wait to get this thing canned up. Probably eat a nice piece of tail tonight. It's gonna be beautiful. What a fish, eh? Amazing. Blood bath. We got this one beautiful winter spring here. I'm just gonna gut it and gill it. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that here on the boat and then we'll get it bagged up and thrown in the cooler and uh, we'll be on our way. All right, so what I do is uh, just go up the anus here through the belly. Make sure you try not to cut any of the actual guts within the belly. So you kind of want to go as shallow as possible. Just sort of go up here, just like that. Then we can pull the guts out. We kind of go up here by the, by the throat, pull out all those guts. We can even have a look. We can see what it's eating. This is, this is what it's been feeding on. Lots of it, it's been feeding all day on these little tiny fish. So a little, a little hair or a little anchovy it looks like. What do you think? Did I get this right calling it an anchovy or do you think it's some other type of bait fish? Drop your answer in the comments. So you can see there's some green in there, some nice silvers. And uh, we actually got this on a purple haze hoochie. Uh, so kind of similar size, not the same colors, but similar size. So this is a really good indication that you might be wanting to use some spoons or something like that. We did try a couple spoons today. We did get one fish on a, on a purple haze spoon, uh, but nothing of the right size. So it was pretty cool that we got this guy. So this is what it's feeding on. All right. So once we got that, we're gonna come in here, cut the gills out, just like that. Grab the gills right here, cut that out, just like that, gills out, gone. And then what you want to do is, is you want to come and slice this line right here, this kind of blood line, and we're going to get all that blood out of there, just like that, perfect. We can go ahead, throw it in some water. Flush it out a little bit, so it's nice and clean. Make sure you don't get water in your boot because that's always fun. And then I'll grab a fish bag, we'll put it into the fish bag and we'll throw it in the cooler and we'll be on our way to crabbing. What's up everybody? Thank you so much for watching this episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. We did actually go crabbing after this, but it was a total bust and we got nothing but smalls. So we decided not to show it in this episode. But stay tuned for the next episode where we actually can up this salmon that we got today. We're going to show you guys the full process of how we can and preserve our salmon. So turn on your notification bells, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.